breathtaking views and an unforgettable coastline. An ideal destination for paddling and water sports with historic places to explore and all the fun of the fair. We're taking a break in Eastbourne and East Sussex. Hi, I'm Cheryl Dean. Welcome to another edition of Britain's Best Breaks, the show that helps you make the right decisions when you're choosing a break. Today we're going to be exploring Eastbourne and East Sussex. Eastbourne is one of Britain's most exceptional towns and we'll be starting off by exploring the various sites and attractions you'll find here. Later on we'll be journeying down to the remarkable South Downs where we'll visit Britain's highest coastal cliff, Beachy Head. After that we'll be taking you on a tour of East Sussex before reaching our final destination, the historic town of Rye. So sit back, relax and let us show you some of the best places to eat, visit and stay. Let's get started. Famed for its gorgeous beaches and marvellous scenery, Eastbourne is the ideal place to relax and forget about the hectic pace of day-to-day -day life. Known for its fine gardens, the town provides a refuge from the frenetic pace of other resort towns. And how's this for a bonus? Eastbourne has reportedly more hours of sunlight per day than any other town in the UK. Simply perfect for shopping, sailing, sunbathing and of course swimming, you'll find it all here in Eastbourne. Eastbourne is primarily known as a seaside resort with its five miles of wonderful beaches. On the seafront you'll find all sorts of attractions. Why not stroll along the promenade taking in performances at the bandstand or ride the dotto train along the beachfront. The coast is alive with water sports activity, whether it's sea, canoeing, sailing, windsurfing or something else, it's all here to be enjoyed. The pier is also a brilliant place to visit with amusements and calming sea views. Eastbourne also provides you with the best in dramatic arts and live entertainment. The Devonshire Park Congress and Winter Garden Theatres provide inhabitants and visitors with first-class stage shows all year around. Whether you're looking for smash hit musicals like Chicago or Cats, or something more highbrow like ballet or opera, you'll find it all here. located between Eastbourne Pier and the harbour, you'll find a thrilling day out here at the Fort Fun Adventure Park. It's the ideal choice for families of all ages, with dramatic rides, a large indoor play area, crazy golf and loads of other exciting things to experience. One of Eastbourne's focal points is here at the Sovereign Harbour Marina. The marina is one of the largest in Europe and is a berthing place for all kinds of vessels from around the world. Here you'll find restaurants and shops with fantastic harbour views. There's also a retail park with a six screen cinema so you won't be lost for things to do. Children just love to ride trains and at the Eastbourne Miniature Steam Railway you'll find family days out that'll stay in the memory. Ride around on nearly a mile of track taking in the beautiful country park with its tranquil five acre lake. Back in the early 1800s, a chain of defensive buildings were built on the south coast to protect England against Napoleon's growing armies. This is one of them, the Redoubt Fortress. Nowadays, the fortress is the perfect settling for an excellent museum where visitors can view rich regimental collections relating to Sussex. Their museum also runs a varied events program including holiday activities, making it great for a family day out. 
For those of you with sea legs, Alcorn Pleasure Boat offers you a fantastic way to see one of Britain's most memorable coastlines. Jump on board and enjoy the 45 minute tour that takes in the remarkable Beachy Head and its neighbouring 100 year old lighthouse. One of the major pulls to this area is the South Downs and its unforgettable scenery. The South Downs is one of the most coveted walking areas in the UK. Ramblers and cyclists come to experience the 90 mile South Downs Way which stretches all the way from Eastbourne to Winchester. It's a designated area of outstanding natural beauty and home to some of the most dramatic coastline in Britain. This is arguably the most dramatic cliff top in the UK. Stretching for 150 metres above sea level, Beachy Head is probably Britain's highest and most memorable headland. Its sheer bright chalk cliff face can be seen for miles out to sea, and the views from its peak are among the most exceptional on the south coast. They say that on clear days you can see almost 70 miles to Chichester to the west and all the way to Dungeness in the east. Heading north from the coast but still only 10 miles from Eastbourne, you come across this delightful village of Alfriston. This untouched village offers the perfect postcard vision of England. It's the ideal place to take a day trip and enjoy a stroll down the charming Cookmere River. Also in the village you'll find the Alfriston Clergy House. It was the first building purchased by the National Trust way back in 1896. It's been standing here since the 14th century with its gorgeous cottage garden and characteristic old world charm. Just a few miles down the road from Alfriston you'll find a truly unique attraction. Welcome to Bentley Wild Fowl and Motor Museum. Set in a hundred acres of grounds, there's a surprising amount to see and do. Visitors can take in a hundred years of motoring history at the museum, see one of the largest international collections of wild fowl, wander through beautiful woodland, and it's all overlooking the gorgeous South Downs scenery. Also living here in the South Downs, you'll find the Long Man of Wilmington. This giant living on the hillside is the largest depiction of a man in Europe. No one knows for certain how old he is, but some say he has been here since prehistoric times. Well, no matter how old he is, you can't help noticing him. Also here in the South Downs, you'll find gorgeous views and family fun at Spring Barn Farm Park. It's an all-year-round attraction with special events at Easter, Halloween and Christmas. There's also the farmhouse kitchen serving delicious food every day. There's a giant summer maze here, the perfect place to get lost. Or you can have fun hanging out with the animals here. Say hi to Billy. Enjoying that, aren't you? Heading further north, we have arrived at Michelin Priory. Founded by Augustinian monks in the 13th century, this building has been radically changed over the years. It's a delightful place to visit with interesting exhibits, a marvellous working water mill, and England's longest medieval moat. Heading westwards now, we reach the remarkable Hurstman Seuss Castle. 
This classic moated fortress is surrounded by beautiful parkland and splendid Elizabethan gardens. The castle dates back to the 15th century, but fell into disrepair in the 18th century. It wasn't until almost 200 years later in the early 1900s that after extensive renovation, it was finally restored to its former glory. Today, the castle is home to an international study centre and is opened up for people to come and share in its history. You'll also find the fantastic observatory science centre. Back in the 1950s, this site was built when these enormous telescopes were moved from the Royal Observatory in Greenwich so that astronomers could get a better look at the cosmos in clearer skies. They're some of the largest telescopes in the UK and visitors can take a glimpse of what it's like to use these majestic instruments. There's also loads of hands-on exhibits for you to try out, like this vacuum chairlift. Outside, you'll find large-scale exhibits, like this Archimedes screw. Come on, guys, give me a hand. Push. Wow. Was that, wasn't that? Yeah. Now we've reached the historical Singapore town of Hastings. Famed for links with the Battle of Hastings in 1066, this beachside town is a wonderful place to visit while you're here. Just off the beach here in Hastings Old Town, you'll find two superb locations. Come and explore Smuggler's Adventure, delve into the acres of underground tunnels and caverns. Follow these interactive displays and find out how the smugglers used the shadowy world for their illegal trade. And just a few minutes down the road, you'll find Underwater World. Walk through this stunning glass tunnel and take in the spectacular array of marine life on offer. There's electric rays, jellyfish, colourful seahorses and much, much more to be found. Now we've reached the final location on our journey. This is the Sinkport town of Rye. Often considered one of the prettiest towns in England, it sits on a hill overlooking Romney Marsh. Once an important harbour town, visitors travel here to walk its charming cobbled streets past the various timber frame buildings. Just a few minutes down the road, you'll find the Rye Heritage Centre. Focusing entirely on the rich local history, the centre is the ideal place to gain a deeper understanding of this historic town. We've seen a breathtaking coastline, castles and even one of the oldest men in Britain. We've tasted some of the area's most delicious food. And as ever, we've found you some of the best places to eat, visit and stay in Eastbourne and East Sussex. And remember, if you fancy a weekend away, log on to our website and enter our competition to win a fantastic short break holiday. You can find details of all the places we've visited on our website and you can enjoy all our shows whenever you like on Britain's Best Breaks TV. We'll be back with you again soon to help you plan yet another relaxed break. But until then, it's goodbye from me and remember with Britain's Best Breaks, the choice is yours.